good morning everyone i welcome all of you for today's lesson today we learn about accusative pronoun in german language and how we use them this is also called direct objects let's learn today what does it a direct object pronoun do let's see like the sentence like ish habe einen hund here ish we use as nominative or a subject habe as we all know is a verb hund is an accusative is object direct object that we call it in german language and how we will know a direct object pronoun take the place of a direct object for example do you see the car in here this is the subject verb or object and it's mentioned that pronoun takes the place of direct object objective pronoun now this is the direct object yes i see it subject verb Mm -hmm. object pronoun direct object pronoun yeah this has been it has been taken the place of the car yeah and how the sentence that you form it subject plus verb plus object and here subject refers to nominative and object refers to accusative and how we make a sentence in german language personal pronoun as a subject nominative plus verb plus personal pronouns as a object as accusative e i know her here i nominative no verb her accusative you know her nominative verb accusative object subject verb object person pronouns in german language and how we use them let's see nominative and accusative we have already learned about nominative ish do er sie es wir ihr sie sie and the accusative one this one love it ish changes to mich du dich er in sie sie es es wir uns ihr euch z z z z this is the change that they make when we when these pronoun use in object form as a accusative let's use them and try with some of the example notice the placement of the direct object pronouns in german and where we place them the teacher ask you english verb direct object in the german language they will have a frog dish after the verb direct object pronouns dish that we already do changes to dish a nominative and accusative and how we change that these are the some of the example like dash heiser is nominative as a subject we use we can check with the verb also e then it's a ish best dash mude nominative is boost change to do zin z hamburger is air schauspieler heis z monica and in the accusative form that john leaped either mish yeah either dish you the lehrerin frag dish mm -hmm. frau bauer findet it can be see it can be dish is you but the main form is that it will come from the accusative only because it's a object that ish mag in there in is used for he him sir ish mag in there mind funded hierarchy z hierarchy z
accusative pronoun for the direct object are mm -hmm. uh, ish, zehe, then man. Ish is subject, verb, and the object. Now, then man changes to in. Ish, zehe, in. If we translate to English, I saw the man, I saw him. E. Subject, verb, object. Things in German has three gender form. Like all the nouns has the article. It does not mean that like in English we use all the things with the it. But in German we change as per their article. Yes. If the article is masculine, we change it to in. If the article is feminine, then we change it to z. If the article is neutral, then we change it to s. Now we see with the example how we change them. Ish sehe then tish. Ish sehe in. The article for then tish is er and er changes to in. Yeah. Subject, verb, object. Now see the let's one. Er kauft das Auto. Er kauft S. Because the article for das Auto is das and das which is to S. Now see, wo is meine Brille? Has to dash. Now we need to check the article for this. Is my name really? Article is Z. Z changes to Z. Has to Z. Like now we fill the in Z S. In is for masculine thing. Z is for feminine thing. S is for neutral. Now we again say, Das Auto fahrt sehr langsam. Ich möchte. Mm -hmm. The article is Das Ich möchte S. The cafe is called is trinke. Their changes to in nest. Ich finde mein water book nest has to s. Meine gross elterns in their net ish liebe z. Because, because the article is z, then you see. Their man is their arrogant. Niemand mag in. Because the article for air is in. We do like this. Now see that this one. Air und in. Whether we feel it as a subject or object. France is doom. In the beginning if we are adding. Air marked alles kaput. Peter Weiss alles. Frags du. Now it's object one. Frags du. In. We subject is already there. We feel the object. We art is thine brooder, wo arbeitet, we change this, e, er, wo arbeitet, er, because subject is there, there is no subject, then we add subject. Their wagon is kaput, kans du, the article for wagon is there, then it's in. We find this to the singer, ish mag, article for this. Subject is already there. In. Yeah, that is there. Simple. If you have any doubt, any concern, you can write it to me. Thank you very much for today's lesson. Have a nice day.